Hey guys, Pablo with BND Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look on the game The Secret World Legends. And is the game still worth playing today? Well, that's not the easiest answer. And I'll explain. So, it all depends on how you define an MMO. Like, for me, for example, Destiny, it's not exactly an MMO. While you, you do have a massive player group and server, but unless you know people or set up, you, you really can't interact with them, not for the most part. You can do missions with them, you can play the Crucible with them, but I don't know, it's just different than what most games used to be. But if you do consider Destiny as an MMO, what as per se it is, you may love the Secret World Legends. Now, is that a good game? Yes, it's a great game if you pretty much plan to play by yourself. I'm not saying you don't have community, but the community is very, very small. Steam, for example, reports about 700 players on peak. And if I was to do a very nice guess and twice the amount of people use the launcher from FunCon, you would have about 2100 people on peak month, what is not that much for an MMO. Now I have to say, the game has beautiful graphics, great cinematic, and I know some people are probably thinking, well, they have games that are better, but still, it is a free game. Now, the game would actually be fun if you decide to set up with a few friends to go through the whole storyline. I believe that would be amazing to actually have friends playing with you and you can interact with each other, so yeah, it would be worth it. But if you actually play MMOs to be able to have that freedom in the world and like meet up players everywhere you go, that may not be the world for you. That may not be the game for you. I think for me the hardest thing about this game is I remember having pre-ordered the game when it came out as The Secret World. Uh, the game came out in 2012 after a few too many delays. The game had been in development since 2002 and it had been announced by Funcon for a few years before the game actually came out. So people that played Anarchy Online as me had great expectations for that game. And yes, the game was amazing and it really worked just fine for a couple of months until the players just start dropping like flies. The game got to a thousand players on peak month, all the way down to 200 players. And that's when they did a relaunch of the game as the Secret World Legends. Now, don't take me wrong, the game mechanics great, the cinematics are amazing. The learning curve of the game is really good. You pretty much have to start playing the game with a type of tutorial, what is really your first missions. But they explain how the buttons work and how everything goes and it's pretty easy. And I know a lot of players actually love MMOs, but they really do the solo thing. Something I done time and again, and I would just join groups when I really had to acquire something or go after something that was way higher than me to be able to level. So I would say that's definitely the game for you. I also feel that one of the issues that the Secret World found was that the time it came out, WoW was still a really big game and Terra had just come out, so I guess they're just too late. I would say if they had been able to launch the game a few months prior, it probably wouldn't have happened. And it really upsets me that a game with so much potential from a company, Funcon, that had a really good player base. I mean, those are the guys from Age of Conan, and I know a lot of people had issues with Age of Conan. What I'm saying is that was, in general, a good game. Honor Kill Line was one of the most amazing games that I played and probably the game that I played for the longest. Now, one of the things I have to say is I don't think I would pay for the subscription. I really don't feel that all the perks you get are actually worth it when they don't have a player base. 
Would I like to see a bigger player base? Would I like to see them making a bigger area where you didn't have to pretty much focus on quests all the time? Yeah. I mean, the world seems to be pretty big, that's not the issue, but it doesn't feel like a social game. And I really think that most players that play MMOs go to those worlds to actually be social. So my final verdict? Well, it really depends on you. It depends what type of player you are and depends what you're looking for in an MMO. But I do believe it's a game that is worth trying, or at least taking a look at, reading about it, and trying to find out if that's for you. Again guys, I hope you guys liked this video. I would like to give a big thanks for everybody from Reddit, you guys being awesome. And don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and share the video. I hope you guys have a good night, and I see you tomorrow the day after. Take care.